Welcome to Xara Web Designer 7 Premium Tutorial number 9. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the line tool and showing you how to apply uh, different things to the head and tail of the line segment. And that's pretty much what we're going to cover in this tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, let's go ahead and select the line tool. And the way you're going to do that is to go to the toolbar and where you see this brush icon, you'll place your cursor over it and then you'll see a few other options and you're going to select the one in the middle called the straight line tool. So left click on that and once you select that you'll see that your cursor changes and it's kind of got a cross here and another line with two points on it and that's just letting you know that you have the straight line tool selected. So let's go ahead and draw our first line and the way you're going to do that is to hold the control key and then while holding the control, the control key left click hold the left click mouse button down and you'll see that your cursor turns into like a, a brush and you're going to drag your mouse cursor to the right or to any direction that you want and it's going to make a perfect straight line at the at particular angle point. So if you push it diagonally, it'll point at a perfect diagonal or a 45 degree angle. Or if you do it to the right, it's going to point to the right at a straight line or down or vertical line. So by holding the control key while holding the left click mouse button and dragging, it locks the straight line in whatever direction you, you, you decide to pull it. So if you want to go horizontal or vertical, you drag up or down, or if you want to go diagonal, it'll put it on a 45 degree angle. So just remember it locks it at angle points if you hold the control key while holding the left click mouse button and dragging in the direction that you want to go. So if you want to drag left or up vertically, you can drag in any direction you want, but it's going to do it in 45 degree increments, depending if you rotate it around the axis. So within a 360 degree rotation, it's going to snap every 45 degrees. So hopefully you understand that it's not anything too complicated. You know, if you want to keep things simple, you could just left click and drag while holding the control key and then release all those buttons and you'll get a straight line in whatever direction you draw. Now if you don't hold the control key and you just hold the left click mouse button and drag, you'll notice that, you know, it's not it's not a perfectly straight well it's straight but you tend to get these jagged edge kind of lines and I don't like that that's why I typically hold the control key but you can just left click and drag in the direction you want and it'll make a straight line but do know that you may get jagged edge lines I know my computer doesn't have the best graphic system so it may just be my graphic card but from what I've seen, it, it tends to have just a slight uh, jagged edge on the line. I mean, it's barely visible, but it is there. But again, you can just left click and drag in any direction that you want, and it'll make a straight line with a little bit of effort. You might ask yourself, well, why do we have a straight line tool? Well, if you try drawing a straight line tool, a straight line with a different tool, it would not exactly be the easiest thing to do. So that's why the straight line tool was implemented. And I'm just practicing so that you guys can get used to it. Just left click and drag and it will create those lines. So let's go ahead and go to the next thing. Hit Control A to select all the objects on your, on your screen. And then hit the Delete key on your keyboard. And that's going to remove all those straight lines we just drew. And let's draw another straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can just left click and drag. And then look in your info bar. You'll see in your info bar that you have uh, two drop down menus. The first one is your start start arrow. So left click on that and you'll get a few different options. And you can select any of these options that you desire. In this case, I'm going to select this arrow here. So left click on that. And you'll notice you can't see anything. Well, probably because the arrow is too small to see. So what you would do is go back to your info bar and you'll see set arrow size. And you're going to increase that and I'm going to increase it to about probably maybe 400 percent and now you can see that arrow so this slider here adjusts 
the size of the of the start and end arrow. In this case, we've only made a starting arrow. And now we're going to make a end arrow. So go back to your info bar and to the second menu. This will be your end arrow. We're going to choose an arrow again, one of the arrows from these options. And now you have an end arrow. And again, you can adjust both the sizes of those start and end arrows by adjusting this slider. It's going to affect both simultaneously. So if you want a really large arrow, drag it to 400%. And also, if you want it, you can enter in a manual value. Maybe I want it at 800%. It'll increase it to 800%, but the slider only goes to 400%. If you want to drag it back down, just simply click on the slider and drag it down and make it a size within that 400% value. Alternatively, you can have a different type of start and end arrow. You don't have to use just a regular arrow. You could use one of these here, you know, that looks kind of fancier. You could use this as a star arrow. Now you got more of a fancier star arrow and a normal end arrow at the other end. So this could be used for, you know, maybe you're an architect and you do measurements. You could, you know, have the uh, start and end arrow showing a measurement of some kind and putting the number values right on top of the line. So yeah, it's pretty useful. Uh, I think that pretty much covers how to use the uh, straight line tool and adding a start and end arrow to it. Alternatively, you could also do this. If you go back up to the info bar, you could select, you know, a different starting arrow and then hit this key in your info bar called reverse paths. And it's just going to flip it around. So maybe you accidentally put, you know, the starting arrow on the wrong side. Just hit this reverse path and it'll flip it around. So this case the arrows on this side if you hit it again now it's on the left side so if you ever need to reverse the paths just simply hit the reverse path key so that's everything for the line tool hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video also give us a thumbs up so thanks again for viewing the video and look out for our next tutorial because we definitely will be producing some more and if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a message on YouTube.